Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. One of the challenges of being outside due to cyber crime, identity theft, police brutality, and fraud on my name and on my life and on my possessions that violate the civil rights of our land and impose ridiculousness on top of our Bill of Rights which allow me the protection of those items is that people still steal. I'm literally sitting here on a marvelous sidewalk waiting a few minutes in between I start another recording of the things that I've been scripting all day yesterday to put out there in the world for my portfolio and literally my brand new sunglasses that cost me truly only a dollar have gone missing. I got up to check my pack to move a sign around to fix things and I come back and I find the sunglasses that I laid down gone. I don't understand what people are doing when they're training their children. I really don't. I am highly offended that someone would either take it off my chair or take it right off my hat. I've actually had that happen where some black girl in a Panera long ago took my brand new glasses right off the top of my baseball cap. I know that baseball caps today are starting to have those little holes on the sides so you can actually, if you're a guy or a girl, slip your sunglasses into the hole so that they sort of lock in place. I also know that when I worked in manufacturing we always had croquis and croquis were these marvelous little rubber things that would slip on top of the end of your glasses so that you could put them around your neck or keep them on your hat and I appreciate that. But what bothers them to me today is that we have people from all cultures, all walks of life, all levels of influence, all levels of lifestyle, who think it's marvelously funny to steal something from someone homeless. I can't fucking believe it. I'm sitting here thinking, clearly we have completely lost our God. And we've lost our God because we're thinking that we don't have to do anything for anyone in poverty. We don't have to do anything for anyone who needs it. We don't have to ever bother asking someone what they need because we are so powerful as a person, as an individual, that we can just presume we know what they need. Yes, it is true that many people living in poverty need food. Yes, it is true that most people living in squalor or most people living in the streets need a shelter. But here's the problem. Most shelters are not great for people who need shelters. A marvelous budget hotel or like in Japan, a business hotel or a train station oriented hotel would be marvelous because then you've got an individual place to sleep you've got a simple little door to get in and you can get out and leave your stuff if you can rent the place and there are those type of apartment complexes or quasi apartment slash hotels where they're residences by the week but here's the deal you're also dealing with a lot of things like bed bugs and other things in those spaces now just now i killed a very monstrous ugly looking biting poisonous spider that I didn't expect to see on the sidewalk here. But here's what I know, that the people that we employ from foreign lands who are not here lawfully don't know what should and shouldn't be in each state. You see, when they travel, when people travel, they can put their bag down and pick something up and bring it home to their state where it can procreate. I think it's really important that every traveler get a blue light. And a blue light allows you to check a mattress or a, or a cushion in a hotel room. Now, most really good quality companies in that uh, hotel and lodging industry, like the Hiltons, they do that. Their people who are doing cleaning carry those things. They check things. They double check things. And we have had a lot of marvelous stories online about what can and can't happen to our belongings and to our bodies when we sleep in a rented space. But sleeping in the streets is different than sleeping on concrete. And I usually choose a very clean space to sleep. Winter, rain, summer, or shine, I do this. But that's not the point. My point that I originated this with is that it is not your lawful right to put your hands on anyone's body while they sleep. It is not your lawful right, out of any curiosity of the night, to put your hands in someone's property bags and ruin things. It is not your lawful right to put your hands up someone's shirt to touch or impress upon your aspect of sexuality on them. If you are not a bedfellow to someone, do not try to be bedding them. Now, we can say this with all clarity. We can mean this with all, well, prosperity-oriented mindset. But the truth is, the people who end up in jail, nine times out of ten, end up in jail because they chose a different way of life. They chose to go against the law. 
they chose. But people like me didn't choose to go against the law. People like me were just trying to catch up to someone who was leaving the scene of an alleged fender bender. And it was just a tap, but it was just enough for me to say, okay, he's left the scene, I gotta go get his information, it's the law in Indiana, I gotta do this. And it turned into a total catastrophe on my life. Every person along the way wanted to just fuck me over further and further. But if I'm sitting on a sidewalk, doing my life, trying to continue my life, trying to carry on my life, in my struggles and, and whatnot, I don't need some motherfucking black player walking up behind me and stealing glasses off my hat or taking things off my pack. I just don't. It costs me a hell of a lot now to buy new glasses. I have now purchased four pairs of fucking sunglasses. The first two, somebody stole within a week. The third pair, they broke yesterday or the day before, so I had to replace it. And thank God the dollar store finally carrying the kind of style that I like. But even those got stolen this morning, and I just had them. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Are you really going to stand in front of Jesus at the end of your life, no matter how fine you are, no matter how crazy you are, no matter how interesting you are, and say, well, Jesus, I just felt like taking them. Are you really going to do that? Did he really die for that sin on you? I don't think so. If you decide to be a player, that's one thing. If you decide to lay with everybody, that's another. But if you're the person who's been stealing from me since I had a home, I'd like to say, who the fuck are you to do that?